Welcome to this absolute beginner's blender tutorial number seven and it will talk about the different orientation of the transform tools. I'll start by maximizing my 3D view, press control up arrow and uh, shove the toolbar out of the way. Out of the way. Um, we'll look at the translate operator and the different orientations. View means that you're translating relative to how you're looking at the world. So if I look at it from the top, then it will be the same as if I was in the global mode. But if I'm changing my orientation, then the operator will move it according to my orientation. I'll regret that or undo that. The normal relates to, um, especially in, in edit mode, it's useful when you can move a polygon in its normal direction. In this case, it doesn't look much different than, for instance, the local mode. The global mode relates to the world or changes things along the world axis. And if you haven't changed the rotation of the object, local will be the same. We'll look a little bit at about at gimbal. It's changed to rotation. And if I rotate it in the Y axis, the relationship between the X and Z axis will change. So you get a non-orthogonal coordinate system for that local uh, local object. I will undo that. Also, if I rotate the object and I switch to local, then and let's say I choose to translate, then I will move it along the local axes or scale it along these axes. And I'll undo all those. There's also a local mode if you want to deal with, we'll, we'll now uh, look at this from the top view by pressing seven on the num keypad. I will move this over here a little bit and I will add a monkey. There we got a monkey. And now if I choose this cube and press slash on the num keypad, I become up close and personal with that with that local object. Still the orientation. Now I changed it in the global, I switching to the local. And it's only that the only difference is that I'm now only working with this object. It's still in the same place relative to the center of the world and the, all the orientations works the same. I'll press slash on the num keypad again and I'll go back. I'm gonna delete the monkey. and uh, choose a user perspective. And as long as you're using these handles, the translate, the scale, rotate handles, then what says in this box here, global, local, normal, or view, all matter. But if I want to use the keyboard to manipulate my object, then I have to explicitly tell it if it's gonna work on the global or local uh, axes. So to get to work on the global axis, I'll use one coordinate letter. So such if, if I wanna scale it in the X 
direction, I'll type scale x2, for instance. And then it's, scale, it's scaling in the global x direction. If I want to scale it in the local x direction, then I could say scale xx2. And now it happens to be the same. So I'll, I'll undo that and I'll scale it in the so we'll change that local and to take the okay I want to I want to scale it in the local Z direction so scale Z Z two in that way you can scale and move things either in the local or global orientations also via the keyboard and through the keyboard you can scale things in three two or one dimension so if I want to scale this in three dimensions I'll press s and let's say either move the mouse like that or s zero then it disappears right five a uh, point five so now it's half as big as it was when I started started that operation and you can see all these scale you can see it down in the status bar what's going on scale for instance if I do shift Z then I can scale it in the global XY dimension when I press 2 and if I want to scale it in the local XY dimension, I'll scale, sca uh, scale shift Z, Z two times. And then I can change it and press the left mouse button or enter key to finish or complete the operation. So for local coordinates, double letters. For global, single letters. And for all dimensions, no mentioning of a uh, uh, axis. And for two dimensions, exclude one of the axes by pressing shift and the axis that you want to exclude, or changing it in one dimension, just press, for instance, scale x1. Okay, scale x2, then it's twice as big, or scale x0.2. So just to repeat, if you use the keyboard, you'll have to explicitly tell if it's local or global and which dimensions you're going to use. If you're using the handles, it's more visible, it's more visual, and you, s you can see what you're doing. And uh, you can just switch the orientation around by changing the orientation designator on, on the header. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for listening, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.